unless it can be of a certain standard, yeah. I, I wouldn't do it. You've got your range coming out soon yes, as well. Yes, it's coming out in October. Yeah. One of the first people to ever go from size zero, American zero, to 24. Size 24. You? That's why it's taken so long. Not Cut. ages, sizes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Where's your makeover? Oh, you know, yeah, where's my makeover? Any minute. On a personal note, I would love to see you at London Fashion Week. I have been begging I her to come with me it's every great single you. year. But you know, the fashion world, I think everybody's so snotty in the fashion because world. Because they're hungry, Mum. Is it? Is it? <laughs> they don't eat, so they get they moody. Just so, and then it's because they're hungry. <laughs> they just so up <laughs> themselves. You are. It's non-stop, isn't it, with you guys? You've got your clothing, you've got your fashion. I've got a Shark, coming out Shark from Nado. Is Sharknado still happening? Oh, God, yes, that's coming Shark out Nado's here. So we've got... <laughs> which oh, is just, a small cameo. Oh, this is so it's exciting. not like a huge drama. Kelly, I am beyond excited. Uh, listen, you work so hard. Is that the key to your success? I just think it's about having a good work ethic and not, you know, I didn't want my kids to have a sense of entitlement and mm. whatever they do, they do themselves, they earn, you know, they have their own careers and I think it's really important to and have a good work ethic. I wanted to turn into a Hollywood celebrity's child cliche that mm. lives off of mummy and daddy and thinks that, you know, the world owes them something. It's the other way around. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's and no sex around. tapes. <laughs> Or arrested. <laughs> Can't get better than that. I did get arrested once, Mum. For what? We'll talk about that later. Do you need to do a smoky eye? Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Jobs are good. And an Osborne makeover. I'm a happy boy. What are you doing, Sharon? Should Kelly? We get this? Yeah, Kelly. It's fine. Whatever. I'll answer to anything. Now it's time for my Osborne makeover. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to do some quick fire questions. If that's all right, okay. Stop Weirdest... talking. Go oh, on. No. Go on. Weirdest thing you have in your handbag? Um, weirdest thing. Um, super glue is the weirdest thing you have in your handbag at all times. I do have super glue. Because... Famous person in your phone book? Elton. The Queen. The Queen. No, I do. I uh, probably mm. Princess Beatrice. Okay, fair dues. Bit of royalty. Bit of royalty. London or LA? London. London. Happy days. And if yes. you were stranded on a desert island, what would the one thing you couldn't live without be? Water. Yeah. At least a fit boy or something to keep me A fit boy, exactly. Look at me. Does you it work? Cannot, you cannot. I you cannot. look like you're about to go, oh no, she didn't. Oh, oh yes, she, she did. did. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they're so naughty. Now, every four minutes, somebody in the UK is diagnosed with diabetes. It's a condition that's affected my next guest and his family, and millions of us across Britain are also at risk. Philip Schofield's mum and brother have type 1 diabetes and have been living with it for the last 25 years. And Philip joins me now. Um, this has obviously impacted hugely on, on your family because it happened to you. You found out both of them round about the same time. Yeah, it was a, sh it was a shock. Mm. Um, and it's Diabetes Week. Diabetes Awareness Week this week, so so that's why we're sort of talking about it. Um, for a, my brother was younger, my mother was older. Um, it was type one, so there's and there's a big difference between type sure. one and type two, and I think it's something that is missed a lot by people who don't understand. Mm. Type one diabetes has got nothing to do with your lifestyle, nothing to do with your weight. It just and it really not much is known about it. Your yeah. pancreas just doesn't work all of a sudden, um, and so uh, so they've got type one diabetes. Type two diabetes, which is in the news at the moment, is much more affected by lifestyle and your age mm -hmm. and your size. Um, and so for them it was type 1 so it came out of the blue with both sort of trim and fit um, but what we wanted to make sure and that's sort of the message of the week is that yes it is a shock for a family mm -hmm. yes it came as a surprise to them and to us as well but it doesn't stop you doing really anything they live okay. a completely normal life you've got to be a good diabetic you know you've got to make sure that you talk to your team you've got to sure. make sure that you regulate yourself properly medicate yourself properly but other than that they my, my brother would sit here and say it has not impacted on my life at all that's fantastic because i think a lot of people are frightened of it yes well it's, it's a shock when it hits a family yeah. that's for sure and there's there's no way around it and type one you know that's it for life mm. that's the way you he they um, inject themselves twice a day mm. um and now it's a tiny pen and it's much, uh, they used to be huge hypodermic mm. needles and horrible looking things, yeah. but now it's much, it's like a pen, you know, easy to put sure. in your pocket. And then, of course, the other thing is type 2 diabetes, which they're 
is usually something you can do, and that very much is lifestyle. Mm. A huge proportion of the population pre-diabetic, overweight, don't exercise, eat badly, don't realise how much they can do to actually yeah. turn back that clock. And with type 2, that's something you can do, something you should be aware of, that lifestyle is a big issue. Yeah, it's a time bomb, isn't it? I mean, yeah. they're saying it's really going to be huge. I mean, and, and, but the thing is, you can do something about it. That's yes. what you're saying. And you expensive in it. years to come. Sure. I mean, it will cost the NHS a fortune, but it already does. Mm. Uh, so that is something you can do something about. But it's great that you can, you can do that. And also, as you say, the type 1, you can live with it. Yes. You live with it. And, and if you do it properly, yeah. you're going to be okay. And 